So today's video, I've got my notes ready for today, but the only problem is, I couldn't really find them. And then, I heard a rumbling coming from my wardrobe, so I want to take you guys to see what this is, because I'm, I'm really struggling to find out what that rumbling is in my wardrobe, so let's, I don't know, let's just find out what it is. Hello? Who are you? We are Bjorn. Well, if you don't mind, can I get my notes from my video today, please? For hundreds of years, our family has lived in these woods, led by the spirit of the Wicker Man. I mean, I'll, I'll, okay, fair enough. I like the story. Good storytelling. But can I just get my notes, please? The time has come for the Wicker Man to rise. Together, we shall be the brave. No, I don't want the Wicker Man to rise. Just give me my notes. Please. What an honour to see yourself bound in wicker, encased in his soul. <sighs> well, I'm just going to have to go unscripted today. Just like any other day. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadongstoborn, but built for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update where today, thanks to William101, big shout out to you, we're going to be taking a look at what I think could be Secret Weapon 9 at Alton Towers. So, obviously the first kind of indication of the Secret Weapon 9 project we got was this Twitter post from Alton Towers at Christmas, just gone, uh, <laughs> 2019 Christmas, uh, and basically there was like a like a really fast sort of list of what we think we'll be getting for Christmas or something like that, and one of the things that popped up, if you screenshot it at the right minute, which is what I did uh, for the thumbnail for that video, is Secret Weapon 9. Now that gave us the first indication that Secret Weapon 9 could be on the horizon. Now originally I was thinking 2023, However, I think with the coronavirus pandemic, I think it could very well be 2023 or 2024, in my personal opinion. Uh, but I think it's going to be between 2023 and I think maximum 2025, that kind of mark. And I think we could see work start next year or 2022, uh, which could lead to a 2024 opening. Uh, so that's what I'm thinking in terms of opening times. However, today we're going to be talking about three potential sites two in Forbidden Valley, and of course one in Dark Forest, and we're going to be talking about potential coaster types that I could see in that spot. Now before we get started, please like the video if you've loved it, please comment down below, hope you like the new intro today as well. Uh, <laughs> I had a little bit of a conversation with my Wicker Man wardrobe, uh, or the beast inside the wardrobe should we say. Uh, make sure you give that notification bell a ring so you never miss any more YouTube content. Please share with your friends, your family, and on social media, and make sure you keep getting your questions in for when we hit 2,000 subscribers, and we'll be able to release our next Q&A session. Use the hashtag question before or after your question. And for now, guys, let's get into this video. So, of course, before we take a look into predictions for Secret Weapon 9, we have to take a look at the past eight Secret Weapons. Now... For those of you who are new to the channel and don't know much about the history of Alton Towers, I'm going to give you a lowdown on the history of these secret weapon projects. So, some of you will probably be thinking, well, if one, the first one was Secret Weapon 3 that was actually built, what happened to Secret Weapons 1 and 2? Well, I'm going to go through all of them. So, Secret Weapons 1 and 2 were both planned Arrow Pipeline roller coasters. Both set to go into the Nemesis pit, uh, but both of them, of course, ended up being scrapped. So, Nemesis came along, which is Secret Weapon 3, that is the inverted coaster. Uh, and, of course, we knew that uh, the old Batman the Ride that opened back in 1992-1993 over at Six Flags in America. That was the first of the inverts, and we thought, you know what? Maybe an invert could work at Alton Towers, and that's how Nemesis came about. And at the time, it was, in my opinion, the best themed inverter coaster. Because it had the whole Nemesis station, the elements interacting with the station or going over the station. And just dug into this massive pit in the old Thunder Valley, which became Forbidden Valley. Now in 1998, Secret Weapon 4 came along, and that was Oblivion. Now half of the old Fantasy World section was closed off, rides relocated and demolished, and work started to begin on Secret Weapon 4, which was Oblivion. And of course that created the whole X Sector area, the black hole coaster next to it was repainted into like a solar panel -y blue and grey uh, from the old yellow and green tent uh, colour scheme they had before in the Fantasy World 
area of the park where it became accepted, the repaint came in, Enterprise came in, Energizer came in later on as well. Uh, so it was a very, very uh, unique re-theme, but of course it all coincided with the introduction of Oblivion. Now, skip forward from 1998 and skip forward to 2002 when Secret Weapon 5 came along and that was Air. This was a Bulgar and Mabiod flying coaster. Now, we did have an old Schwarzkopf coaster to the back of the Forbidden Valley site that was known as the New Beast. Of course, it used to be known as The Beast uh, in the old Tol... It was, it was around Tolbert Center in the old coaster corner where the Alton Mouse was as well. But of course, that was removed due to noise complaints. However, this beast, this new beast, was removed uh, just a couple of years before the introduction of Secret Weapon 5. And of course, in that spot, Air was created. The flying coaster concept was in the process for a few years yet. And of course, Oblivion was introduced first. And they wanted to create this flying coaster concept, again with Bologa and Mabiar, three B&M projects in a row. I put four up there. It's three B&M projects in a row. Uh, and yeah, Air was created. Assume the position. And of course, you guys know recently, in 2016, Air was rethemed to Galactica with the virtual reality, which was later removed in the 2019 season. Um, and they brought in this intergalactic theme with the virtual reality when it was first introduced and now it's just a, a new space theme for the coaster. The old air shop was enclosed, the roller coaster restaurant came into that spot and of course they built a brand new Galactica shop uh, away from the old air shop site. I've been in both by the way, I've been in the Galactica shop and I've been in the old air shop and to be fair I can hardly, I, I, I can notice the difference, I can absolutely notice the difference. I hardly tell them the same, they're completely different. Um, so of course, when Air was introduced in 2002, all was well in the secret weapon market. However, in 2008, the iconic corkscrew roller coaster in the old Ugland section, which is now known as Dark Forest, was removed from the park. And it led us to speculate Secret Weapon 6, and that became 13, the world's first Psy coaster, I guess they used to call it. That opened in 2010, so just two years after Corkscrew was removed, or nearly around about exactly two years. Uh, and of course, 13 was the the family thrill coaster. It was the first. It was the first uh, secret weapon project not to be manufactured by B and M. Of course, Nemesis, uh, Oblivion, Air, and of course. Um, the ones before that that were never built by Schwarzkopf, uh, uh, by Arrow, sorry. There was a Schwarzkopf coaster planned as well for that 13 spot, actually. I only just found this out. There was actually a, a three lift hill Schwarzkopf like Lisa Ber Ber Banan uh, at Leesburg in Sweden. That was apparently planned in 1991, uh, but they scrapped it later on, and John Wardley scrapped it later on. So, um, yeah, it was very interesting to find that out. But yes, apart from the Arrow ones that were never built, uh, and the three B&M ones, this was the first project built, this first secret weapon project built, you know, not by B&M, not by Bulger and Mabillard. Uh, and of course this was 13. And then go back three years later after 13, and you've got 2013, the introduction of Secret Weapon 7. Now, the Black Hole tent was closed in 2005 in X Sector, with the ride removed in 06, 07. And it was home to a couple of scare mazes. The Boiler House used to be located in that tent, uh, at the Black Hole. And, of course, the Black Hole tent in 2012 was finally demolished. And in came the Smiler, the world's first 14 looper roller coaster, taking the inversion record off the, the 10 loopers like Colossus at Thorpe Park, loads of 10 loopers around the world as well. Uh, so it was very much uh, a record breaker. It pretty much broke the record. Uh, so the Smiler came in as Secret Weapon 7 on that Black Hole site. And for the first time since 1998, a brand new coaster was introduced to X Sector. Now moving on from Secret Weapon 7, you got Secret Weapon 8. Now this was introduced five years after the Smiler was introduced and this was of course on the site of the former Flume. Now in 2016, from 2016 to 2018, they introduced the Towers Loving Care program and involved in that was the closure of many rising attractions including Ripsaw and of course the Flume. Now, of course, Hex was closed for a season, Tull and Toad Store was removed, Ice Age was closed, it's still closed now, Subterra's closed, uh, Wobble World was closed, that's now Gangster Granny the Ride, when Williams World uh, opens to the public either sometime at the end of this year or probably going to be 2021 now. Uh, but involved in those closures was the Flume. Now, the Flume has been around for decades. It's one of my personal favourite water rides in the UK. So sad to see it go, but it was clear to see I was going to be very, very excited, and everyone 
who misses the flume was still going to be very, very excited by its replacement. And we had reason to. Finally, the wooden coaster we've all been waiting for. Now, if you didn't know already, there was plans for a cross-valley wooden coaster back in 2005. And it was to stretch between Forbidden Valley and then known Ugland. And it was a stretch all the way past Gloomy Wood as well. So it was a real stretch wooden coaster. I believe it was going to be manufactured by Intamin. It was going to be a prefabricated wooden coaster. Um... I believe that's like the Colossus at Hyde Park. Um, obviously that's known as Colossus something of the Giants now, Battle of the Giants, something like that. Obviously I had its massive re-theme a couple of years ago and its massive refurbishment after a couple of years being SBNO at the park. Uh, but it was going to be a, it was set to be a prefabricated Intamin Woody uh, that was stretched over the park. However, the plans for that, due to numerous reasons, were scrapped. And of course, Rita came into Ugland instead as an Intamin Accelerator. Again, Intamin, you know, like a replacement coaster, shall we say, for the Cross Valley plans that were scrapped. But finally, we got a wooden coaster. And in 2018, Secret Weapon 8 came into Mutiny Bay, or technically Gloomy Wood, or technically K Katanga Canyon, wherever in the park it is. It is, of course, Wicker Man. And this wasn't an Intamin prefabricated wooden coaster like the Cross Valley Project. This was a Great Coast International, aka in the industry, GCI wooden coaster. So, right now, it is two years since Wicker Man opened. And... Obviously, if I'm thinking that Secret Weapon 9 is going to open in 2023 or 2024, so take 2023 for example, that is five years until uh, uh, since Wicker Man opened, and then 2024 would be six years. So obviously by that time, you know, if the gap is every few years, then they're going to need a coaster project to fill in the lineup. And I think that 2023, 2024, maybe even 2025 should be the gap. And that is because of Secret Weapon 10, which I think will be in 2030. And to be honest, I think that's usually the pattern at the minute. I feel like there's a coaster every sort of 10 years to celebrate a 10th anniversary or a 20th or a 30th or a 40th. Look at 1990, that was the introduction of their Shuttle Loop Schwarzkopf Coaster Thunderlooper in the old Thunder Valley area, which is now Forbidden Valley. 2000, so, tw so again, 20 years, they introduced the Dark Ride Hex, Legend of the Towers. 2010, they introduced 13, which is a coaster, and 2020, the refurbishing Clark Land into Williams World. So it's every 10 years, every 10th birthday, so a 10th birthday, the 30th birthday. So I think for 2030, for the 50th anniversary, they're going to add Secret Weapon 10. Where? I don't know. I'll get onto that few years down the line <laughs> when we get closer and closer to Secret Weapon 9 opening and obviously we're still on the road to Secret Weapon 10. But let's talk Secret Weapon 9 now. So we've talked about the past Secret Weapon projects and other coaster projects that have been and gone and scrapped uh, and shelved. Uh, and I do actually have a top five video on my favourite, or I should say my favourite Alton Towers projects that we never built. So go and check that out. But let's have a look at three sites for Secret Weapon 9. Now, now the sites that aren't used for Secret Weapon 9 could be used for Secret Weapon 10. But obviously we won't know that until further down the line. So let's have a look at my three predictions for Secret Weapon 9's site. So let's start off with site number one. On your screen now, found Dozy, and now the site on your screen is the Galactica Car Park. Now I spoke in my what is my future rising attractions to be invested in the next few years at Alton Towers. I spoke about how that site could be a Galactica themed hotel. Expand on the resort side of things and of course it would connect with the extraordinary golf with it being right next door so it would be a pretty good solution to that space for in terms of accommodation and it would provide like a, an entrance shall we say straight into the roller coaster restaurant as well so it wouldn't be a bad idea that to have like a galactica themed hotel resort however if they're not going to build a hotel resort on that and it is going to be the site of secret weapon 9 i think there's a couple of options they could go with now Obviously, Vacomo has been really building up these thrill coasters over the last couple of years. They've been really building up in the thrill market. You look at Let Coaster at Legendia, which is a Bermuda Blitz, technically the model's called. Uh, you look at Abyssus at Energylandia that's being built. That's the Shockwave Coaster. I think a good Shockwave Coaster, and I think they could advertise it as the world's first Shockwave Roller Coaster concept uh, in Europe. Uh, it doesn't have to be a world's first or a world beater. It could just it, it, it might not even have to be a record breaker. It could just be like a sp specific type of coaster 
that's not really been built in this area of the con of this area of the country or this area of Europe or anything like that. It could be the UK's first shockwave coaster, and that could be a secret weapon record in itself. It may not be, you know, world record breaking, but it's something good for the park, and it'd be really good for the park. My other suggestions, maybe something like a Taran, maybe an intimate multi-launch, but again, you know, is that the kind of thing that Merlin would want, want to invest in, maybe? Um, you look at past coaster projects at all the Merlin parks, and you look at what they've been adding in. They've been adding B&M wings, they've been adding in, um, you know, refurbishing old coasters, so personally I, I it's a struggle really it's a struggle to see what they'd really invest in however i think that an into multi launch like a taron that could be something the park could look at adding to alton towers i think it'd be a great coaster at the park uh same with the vacoma shockwave i think if that impresses in energylandia um and obviously all the other models out there in china that are getting built so I think that it's grabbing worldwide attention, both those models, and I think that it would be great to see a Galactica theme or a space theme for it to sort of build on the Galactica uh, area behind it. So have Galactica and this new coaster, maybe a couple of family rides dotted around uh, the coaster as it weaves through the rest of the area. So I think it would be pretty cool to make like a Galactica themed area, I guess, with Galactica and the coaster and maybe a couple of family attractions behind it. Uh, so it'd be a very nice way to sort of uh, indulge people in this space theme. Moving in then to site two, and site two once again Forbidden Valley, and this is replacing Ripsaw's old site, which is now known as the Forbidden Sweep HB Leisure Game, which I think should get removed personally. I tried it; it's exhausting. Uh, it's very exhausting. I'm asthmatic, so it put me on my hands and knees. But. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's an alright game, it's a good amount of fun, but I won't see it as a permanent replacement. Obviously the Blade site is in there as well, we don't know what's happening with that yet, that's still SBNO, standard and operating, we heard it was coming back, then it wasn't coming back, then it is coming back. We have not got a clue. Uh, and obviously Nemesis of Terror is circled there as well, and you can see the site stretches behind the stall turn going into the vertical loop uh, soon on Nemesis. Now, I think that's because the coaster could stretch down there and it could go over the monorail and actually interact with the Nemesis stall turn if it wanted to. Or it could even, it could even turn round and go over the stall turn. Like, you could have the coaster interacting with Nemesis. I think there's a good interaction element potential there. Uh, obviously, it would ruin the kind of view that you get with the Nemesis stall turn. So I think if they decided not to go with that, I think that you could just shorten the layout so it comes close to the queue line, but not really um, interacting with Nemesis. It could come close, but not really interacting with the coaster itself. Uh, but in terms of this site then, I think this could be the site where we could see the world's first Axis coaster. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, SNS released a concept video for an Axis coaster. Uh, which was this brand new type of coaster. I saw some I, I saw a coaster youtuber Got allowed into the factory to be on the testing seat for and I saw it testing around and you know what? I think this would be a very cool addition to the park and in, Personally, I think that the only other type of coaster I could see for this site is like a like a quadruple launch something like a, a shuttle launch quadruple shuttle launch coaster either by Gerslauer or uh, again, SNS could be into this. Maybe Intamin gets in on the act and does like a, a shuttle launch of some kind. Um, but I, I don't know. But I think the more likely option for this site is an Axis coaster because I think they can do some pretty cool elements. Maybe do an element over the Nemesis gun creature, so it looks like the the story of the ride is themed around something that's battling the Nemesis. That's trying to destroy the gun as the coaster goes over the gun theming item. If you don't know where I, I mean, uh, if you go into Forbidden Valley, there's like a circle, and uh, you've got this like massive Nemesis tangled gun uh, theming item. If you look for it on Google Earth, it should be there. Uh, but I think that it, I think it could interact over the top of the gun, and I think you could build the supports around the circle. So. I won't fence it off, but I'd have the coasters supports like attached to the circle, so it looks like they're battling against each other, which would be pretty cool. Uh, but uh, it would be a pretty nice idea to see an Axis coaster at the park again, world's first, uh, and I think it'd be a different type of coaster to go for. And of course, 
it would be the first coaster manufactured by SNS at the park. So I think it's a new manufacturer and it's a brand new connection for Alton Towers in terms of future attractions. Finally then, site number three, and you guys probably guessed it, it is Rita at Dark Forest. Now Rita is not a secret weapon, for those of you who are wondering, it isn't an SW. It is a normal coaster investment. It was introduced in 2005. Uh, it was a brand new Intamin Accelerator coaster. It was the substitute replacement to the uh, Cross Valley wooden coaster plans that were later scrapped uh, entirely. So Rita was the substitute. It was like the plan B. You know, Intamin was going to pull this prefabricated wooden coaster, Cross Valley. And it was like, you know what, we're going to scrap it because of this reason, this reason, and this reason, and many more. What else have you got, kind of thing? And of course, they brought in this accelerator coaster. So things like the Ugg Swinger and the Bone Shaker, they were completely removed. The Ugg Swinger was going to get. Uh, I think the Ugg Swinger stayed, but then of course later on it would get moved to Cloud Cuckoo Land for 2009 as the Twilling Toast Stall, and it would run at full capacity finally. So I think it sort of limited the the ride experience of the Ugg Swinger when Rita came in. So I think it was very clear it needed to run at full max power again. So I think. The move to Cloud Cuckoo was the right move, but obviously it's gone now, so rest in peace. Uh, but in this spot, it's very clear what I think I'm going to see. I'm going to see an Intamin multi launch. We're going back with that again. Uh, now, whether it's Intamin or Mac, Mac similar to Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, I personally don't think it's Mac because, of course, Blackpool Pleasure Beach have worked with Mac, uh, and I think Alton Towers, obviously, Rita was a success, so they want to. Uh, replace an Intamin with an Intamin. I think it's like a like-for-like -like swap. Like, revolutionise the site. Evolutionise it. Make it more new. Uh, and I think replacing an old accelerator coaster like Rita, or an older accelerator coaster like Rita, with a newer multi-launch slash accelerator coaster, uh, like a Taron or um, something like that, I think that would be a a better fit. I think replacing an Intamin with an Intamin is probably a like-for-like -like swap, which I think is the more likely solution in this case. Uh, now, I've circled a little bit more than just the Rita site. I've circled this little plot of land. Now, I want to say a big shout-out to Liam Barry, who actually messaged me on Instagram, and he said, you know, this is a little bit of area on the way to Williams World. Maybe if Rita gets removed, maybe they could build a coaster sort of semi in that spot. Or like extend, or and I even I even replied. I said that maybe they extend the t last turn and the break run to go in that spot. So maybe the the final turn um, as the break sort of dips down a bit and it uses that little circle plot of land of trees, uh, and it's like a little turn kind of thing. So I thought that would be a pretty neat solution. Uh, obviously, it would kind of uh, be impossible because of the sky ride being nearby. So I think that. Uh, maybe it sort of goes over the sky ride, possibly. Uh, uh, who knows? Who knows, really? Um, I think they could use that little plot of land as like an extra bit of space, but again, would they would they do it with the sky ride nearby? It'd be quite uh, logistical, but it may be slightly impossible. So I think that just on the safe side, I would stick with the Rita site for now and not use that little plot of land. But if they could, then I'd use that little plot of land as well. Um, but I think that it's very clear. I think we're going to see like a like for like swap, a launch coaster, like a, either a multi launch or a singular launch, depending on how much space they've got to work with. Obviously, they've got 13 next door and they've got the expansion space in the forest area. They could use that, but again, you know, you've got to think really. Uh, so there we go. So that is my three potential sites uh, for Seek Weapon 9. Uh, like I said, I think I've. I'm not going to say I've got Alton Towers next 10 years worked out, but I think we are going to see Secret Weapon 9 in the next couple of years. Again, like I said, between 2023 and 2025 maximum. Uh, and then I think we're, we're definitely going to see Secret Weapon 10 on the eve of the 50th anniversary in 2030. Again, will Secret Weapon 10 use one of the sites that doesn't get used for Secret Weapon 9? Again, we don't know at this point. Uh, however, if you think about it, if the coaster is being added in 2024, then of course Secret Weapon 10 will be six years after that coaster, uh, or seven if it's 2023. So again, you've got to think logistically and think, you know, a few years again is a decent gap, just like the past few years and the past couple of projects have been a few year gap. So, you know, it's following that pattern really. Um, I know I know people are going to comment down below and say, Alton Towers don't need another coaster in a few years time, they need to work on other stuff. I completely agree. 
I, I agree. I think they need a couple more flat rides uh, to fill the void left by Ripsaw. Submission, the likes of Dynamo that used to be at the park. If you remember that, that used to be a Hus Breakdance. If any of you, the general public, look online for Hus Breakdance, then it's a good looking ride. Uh, shame I didn't get the chance to do it, uh, but I did see some old pictures a couple of years before I first visited. Uh, so it was very, very, very nice. Very, very nice. Um, so they got a couple more flat rides to fill that spot. Uh, again, some of the SBNO rides like the Ice Age 4D, Subterra, all those sites that aren't getting used. I know Subterra is being used for Scarefest, but you know what I mean. Like any attraction space that could be used permanently, uh, I think should get filled. Blade coming back again depends on Secret Weapon 9 whether it's going to be in that Ripsaw Blade Subterra site, um, and of course that whole second Forbidden Valley site with that site for Secret Weapon 9. That will also depend on um, if they want to put in a brand new maze somewhere else to fill the void left by Project 42, as well as a couple more flat rides in other areas of the park. So again, it all it, it's different logistics and different uh, you know factors depending on which site gets used for what. Uh, so I'm thinking realistically about this. So that's my three sites. If you've got any other sites, please comment down below. Feel free to add your own opinions. I listen to everyone's opinion. I reply to every single comment. You know. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell. Please keep liking, commenting, or subscribing. We're getting closer and closer to 1,600, which means we're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. Thank you very much. Keep learning the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.